What up, y'all? So, okay, this is going to be, I'm gonna try to make this quick. Um, it's gonna be my quick little review on the, the FNW, you know, um, y'all know that I hate saying the name, but, um, fair and white. Um, what do I think about it? Personally, I have been using it for almost like a few weeks now, right? I gotta look back, um, at some of my videos and see what was the first time I started. But I can say along with using this with the soaps that I use, uh, the lotions that I use, like the G&G, &G, um, which, you know, I let you all know that it, can, it does indeed contain steroids, um, that it, it has lightened up my skin a little bit because I did catch its hand um, earlier this month and it had basically took it away. So I have some pictures um, I will post up with this. Remember, I started with the FNW Paris Fair and White um, exfoliating soap with pure vitamin C. But the thing is, when you're trying, and remember, I'm taking vitamin C um, as well. I take 3,000 milligram along with collagen. And what you need to know is that all of these things work together to help each other out. So they're just basically additives. Is what I call them. Vitamin C is an additive and the lotion is an additive to the soap just to help your skin to brighten up much more faster. Now what you can do and what I will be doing is testing myself out within the next couple of months after I become one more shade lighter. What I will do is go up to like four or five thousand milligrams of vitamin C and just continue using my brightening soaps and just use a regular bar of soap so that we can um determine if whether or not it is indeed the vitamin C that is helping my other products that it is it is influencing the other products to work a lot much more effectively and efficiently for me so um the first this one I had purchased by accident when I the second time I purchased um this you know the fair and white this is an exclusive whitener. This is without the vitamin C. What I noticed using this with another lotion, not G and G, but it was a, another a lotion because remember I'm trying to recommend some products. I know you all do not want to go out and pay a hundred dollars for lotions, and you know me, or uh, if you are like one of my true subscribers and you have been coming to my page for a very long time, then you know that I'm known to use products that can, you know, soaps that can go up to like forty dollars. Um, and basically lotions that can go up to a hundred, such as from La Belly Glow. So I'm trying to get you a fair enough price. You know, I'm trying to get you a price to where, you know, it, it's affordable because a lot of these skin products, it don't matter how much you pay for them. What you really need to pay attention to is the fact of, you, you need to pay attention to the ingredients because you can pay $300 for um, one lotion that will really work and then pay, you know, $20 or $18 for another lotion that contains the same ingredients and work just as well. And you all know, I swear by kojic acid, there's plenty of lotions on the market that contain kojic acid. Um, and all you need to do is like I showed you before is just apply a thick layer. Um, the G&G that I am using now does not contain any steroids. It's basically in a, a peach bottle. So I will be giving a review on that the other week. Um, also for the dumb troll, the dumb troll bitch that came to my page. Um, you know, I won't, don't even worry about that. You know, I'll, you know, get that subtle or whatever, there's nothing you can really do with them, but just, you know, ignore, so as you can see, I ignored her, um, which you all know, you know, if you pay attention to me, and if you can hear, and if you can see, basically, if you can hear, you would have had heard me said that the product contains steroids, so, um, anyway, you know, with me, you're getting all honesty, so, do, do I think that all of the, that the fear and white, um, along with me using collagen and vitamin C is working? Yes, I do. Do I think that, um, the derma roller is working well i can't really say that it'd be another review but what i did notice is that basically some of my scars are indeed almost faded so it is indeed my skin has lightened up a lot when i show you the pictures you would definitely see that so anyway for those of you who subscribe thank you so much for being subscribed to my page for those of you who are not subscribed please just subscribe also share and like my videos and if you want to leave a comment go ahead and leave a comment in the comment box below Bye.